welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain how to create sheet metal impeller this is forwarded curved blades and uh, it is formed with the uh, lancing operation and the right side shows the flat pattern i am going to show you how to create this component and uh, here we can learn some basic features like base flange tab edge flanges and fillet break corner and i am going to show you how to create lancing tool for this feature so let's start now i am in the new part file so select the top plane go to sketch this is 50 go to sheet metal module select base flange here i am taking 2 mm k factor as 0.4 save this file now select this top face keep it normal Keep it in wireframe. Go to center line. So I am creating this feature for. this veins so this is 20 degrees this is also 20 take center point arc join these two points select a line see it is not properly joined we should be very much careful so make it coincide take a line select this center line and this line and make it collinear next take three point arc join these two end points this is 
this is 115 radius is 25 this is 30 make these two points vertical so it is constrained now so let's go to sheet metal module select the tab feature say ok so this is created now we have to create the this feature edge flange feature so this is 10 bend outside so it is going inside so we have to select bend outside yeah. so before that we have to pattern the bend feature tab feature go to circular pattern here either we can show imaginary lines and select this enter axis or we can select the circular face so here i am taking as see edge pattern edge flange I am not able to create a circular pattern for this so here I have to create each and every edge flange individually the software is not taking so I am creating each and every flange now all the flanges are created now we have to check the flat pattern so we can see there is an interference so to avoid that problem so here we have to go to break corner select chamfer and I have taken 3.5 so in in sheet metal we have to check each and every stage of feature creation and we have to see for design for manufacturing otherwise the component becomes complex see there is no interference now 
now here in this feature which is a circular feature we cannot use break corner and round option so we have to go for this fillet this is a software limitation i have applied all the fillets so this is done now i have to create this feature so this is lancing operation so what we have to do is we have to create a forming tool so take new part select front plane go to sketch select a center point rectangle go to feature extrude so keep it in mid plane and keep it 50 now select front plane go to sketch keep it normal select this edge and convert entity and take one arc keep it in tangency and go to corner trim corner trim always helps us to close the loop so smart dimension this is 5 this is 10 now go to feature revolve select this line say okay so this feature is created now now select this face go to sketch convert entity go to features cut extrude through all so we have to choose always through all now this feature is created let's go to sheet metal forming tool select the stopping face now select this face to remove so here we are making a hole so we have to select this face that's very much important say okay so this feature is created now 
I have to save this file in the forming tool folder. So I have already saved this file. Now let's go to the forming tool. So shaft plans, select this face and position, right click, select this, keep it normal, keep it in wireframe and select this point, make it coincide, say ok. So this feature is created. That's how we have to create sheet metal impeller. Thank you very much.